Homelink on the Tesla Model 3 and why. Is it worth it? Well, I'm Frugal Tesla Guy, and I'm going to help you answer that question. As an early adopter of the Tesla Model 3, in 2018, my car came with Homelink. Now, when the standard Range Plus became available, it wasn't included. And then eventually, in mid-2019, all Model 3s, including the Long Range, didn't include Homelink. Now, I'm not here to debate as to why it's not included anymore, but what I am here to do is to help you decide whether or not you want to spend 300 American dollars for the upgrade. Now, unfortunately, this is not strictly a software update, but hardware will also need to be added. So upon ordering Homelink online, you will then need to follow up by setting up an appointment with your nearest Tesla service center to have them install it. Now on a side note, for those of you who already have Homelink and would like the step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it up, I've posted a timeline in the description below. Now Homelink will open your garage door automatically upon approaching your house based on GPS integration and the user defined distance from the garage or the gate. It will also close your garage door automatically as you're backing out of your driveway, also activated by the distance set by the user. Now there are no buttons to press during this process and it will all automatically happen without any input from you. However, in the case the signal isn't detected by your garage door, you can try again by tapping the name of the device you want in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I've simply named my garage door Home. If you happen to have Enhanced Autopilot or Autopilot with Full Self Driving, you'll also have the option to open and close the garage door from your app. You just need to make sure that your car is within range of the garage door opener. Now it's not just as simple as getting the hardware installed in your car, but you also need to make sure that you have a garage door opener that's compatible with Homelink. Now it turns out I needed a compatibility bridge in order for Homelink to work. Now I'm not an expert in garage door openers, so I'm going to leave it up to you to figure out if your garage door opener needs a bridge or not. Now Chamberlain has a compatibility guide on their website. All you need to know is the make and model of your garage door opener and it will let you know if you need a bridge or not. Now that you know you have a compatible garage door opener, start by parking the car outside of the garage. In the top right corner of the center display, press the home link icon. Create home link and it will first ask you to type in a name for the home link button. Now in this case, I've called mine home. Then tap enter. The next screen is where you will set the home link transmit mode. Now most garage door openers use standard mode, but there is also D mode, which is for garage door openers that don't have a remote, but the receiver has a learn button and is sometimes called program or smart. In D mode, the car directly communicates with the garage door's receiver, so you don't have to pair a remote. Now I did try D mode several times, but couldn't get it to work. So in my case, I'll keep it in standard mode and then press set mode. Now on the next screen, it will give you a few directions such as making sure you have the garage remote. Tesla recommends putting fresh batteries in the remote. This is just to make sure the batteries aren't dead. Along with making sure you have your car parked in front of the garage, also making sure there is space for you between the garage and the car. Now when you're ready, press start. This will initialize the programming process and at this point, walk out to the front of the car and press and hold the remote button a few inches from the front bumper just under the Tesla logo until the lights flash. Now the garage door will also open or close depending on its status during the programming process. Now go back to the touch screen and it will say recording complete. Then tap continue. Now the next step will depend on the type of brand of garage door opener you have. Now some are quick train compatible, in which case your next step is to press continue. Otherwise you'll need to train the receiver. Now before you do anything, first go to the garage door opener and press the learn button. Now the location will vary, but mine is behind the light cover. Typically a small LED light or the learn button itself will illuminate, indicating it's ready to learn. Now go back to your car within 30 seconds and tap continue. Within a minute, 
Usually it only takes just a few seconds. The training will be complete and you press continue. It will then ask you to test the new home link to tap the name you gave the garage door. Now in my case, of course, it's home. Now once you've confirmed it works, press save. Now in some cases, it may not work the first time and you'll have to repeat the process again. The next window will allow you to personalize your settings for the garage door. By pressing auto fold mirrors, it will fold the mirrors once you reach the program GPS location. You can also have the garage door open by tapping the box next to auto open when arriving. And you can set when the car sends a signal to the garage from as close to as 10 feet and as far as 100 feet. Now I personally have mine set to 20 feet and find that it works best for my particular setup. You'll have to play around with it yourself to see what works best for you. Now you can reset the program GPS location by parking the car in the desired location, which is typically in front of the garage. Tap reset location and confirm by tapping reset. You also have the option to have it chime to confirm that it sent a signal. That way you know once it chimed, it at least attempted and if the door doesn't open or close, you'll have to manually do it by tapping the name of your garage in the upper right hand corner. Overall, I absolutely love it. With most HomeLink setups I've had in other cars, you actually still had to press a physical button to open the garage door. I know, first world problems. But Tesla has taken it one step further by automatically opening the door for you as you're pulling up to the garage. Pretty convenient if you ask me. Does it work every time? Of course not. Just like that of pressing the button on a remote, sometimes you have to press it more than once. Well, same thing with HomeLink. Sometimes it needs to send the signal more than once. Now, if that's the case, you'll need to tap the HomeLink garage door on the screen. Now, in my case, I've noticed on the rare times that it doesn't open, it's usually when the car isn't directly facing the garage door. Now, as expected, the car doesn't know if the garage door is opened or closed. So if someone happens to close the garage door before getting into the car and you back away, it will activate the garage door opener and you'll need to close it yourself by tapping the home link button. Sometimes I just need to back the car out of the garage, say to wash it. And as I'm doing that, it will close the garage door even though I want to keep it open. Yes, another first world problem. So is it worth it? Well, I'm all about tech and open to anything to make life easier. So if you're at all like me and also have the money, it's worth the $300. But if you're perfectly happy with your setup, then there's no need. If I purchased a new Tesla today, I can honestly say that I would eventually have HomeLink installed. Is it a necessity? Of course it isn't, but I'm all about looking for ways to improve my overall Tesla experience. And I think this is one way of doing that. So I'd love to hear what you think in the comment section below. Is this something you'd consider? I know many people were upset with the fact when Tesla actually stopped including HomeLink in Teslas altogether. So I'd love to know what you think about that. Should it be included? And are you willing to spend the $300 for it? Once again, thank you all so much for watching and you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.